How many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take? Every single hand. You're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Can you do a differential equation? Can I do Can a Can you explain to me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like somewhat you off the top of my head. You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology. Okay, I've can read you Freud explain and I've read to me? But there are 11 million job openings in the country right now that pay eighty thousand dollars or more that don't require a college degree. Eleven million job openings. Welcome back to Rattlesnake TV, guys. In this video, we are going to cover a few different debates that Charlie Kirk has done recently with college students about going to college. This is one that I'm actually pretty passionate about, so I want to cover it from a few different angles talk about solutions and also talk about the future of education. So with that, let's get into the first one. Yes. I'd like to disagree with you right, about uh, college as a scam. Okay. Just because there's 50% of people who you say don't need college to get a job, why would it be a scam? There's a social impact about college, about on America. College is, you know, good. The majority of kids that go to college when they graduate have a lower view of America than when they entered. Do you think that's a troubling thing? I think just changing your opinion doesn't really matter too much. Do you think that college teaches responsibility and hard work and... Sure. Okay, well, I, I find that hard to believe. Why is it that employers are more and more not wanting to hire college graduates and they actually want to hire people that didn't go to college? What employers? Uh, you can name them out, man. Walmart just got rid of their, uh, even in their corporate level, so you don't need to go to college. Coke Industries, one of the largest employers in the country, from Georgia Pacific Railroad to uh, Dow Chemical. They said, we no longer want kids that have gone to college because okay. they end up causing problems because they're super entitled and they're like, oh, what are my pronouns? And they have all this like left-wing nonsense that they've been filled with. Well, then you have engineers, doctors, lawyers, people that- Sure, we need that, but that's less than 20% of the people that go to college. Yeah, but college it, is it'd an be wrong to say college is a scam if 25% of people become great people. You know, lawyers, doctors, engineers. That's not what really college currently is though. Again, I, I'm happy to have you read the book, College is a Scam, I wrote it. I can have a more wordy thing, which is the vast majority of people that go to college are receiving a scam for the money that they're borrowing. The vast majority. That's of course there's exceptions. You can make whatever you want with your life. I mean, you could, but I mean, when you enter into an enterprise, yeah, you need to know that you are going to college. Let me, let make me more prove money this to you. The end. How many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take? Every single hand. You're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Why can't you say, I don't want to take this class? Why are you, a, why um, is a customer you can can't say? Can you do a differential equation? You what? Can you do a differential equation? Can I do can a Can you explain to me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like somewhat you off the top of my head. You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology. Okay, I've read can you Freud explain and I've read it to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it, it to the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a, a second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs, masters. Yeah, because you this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's the point. Is you can do whatever you want without a college degree. You can listen to podcasts, read you, books. Let, you don't need to go. Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's said, literally the uh, reason. I, I can't hear Gauss, what you said. What'd you say? You know Gauss, right? No, uh, Mathematician. Yes, yeah, sure. vaguely, sure. Okay. Vaguely. Yes, vaguely. Yeah. Oh, Do you know okay. who Milton Freeman is? Do you know who Herbert Marcuse is? Do you know who Thomas Sowell is? Do you use a phone? Do you know who Gubernur Morris is? Well, that's because of Gauss. No, you don't. So I could do gotcha too. Like, so Euler before you is, try to get going off to university your ivory tower, is the reason that, that not he, became, everybody, he was able to become so proficient in mathematics so here, here's and the change thing. the world. The majority of kids that go Most to college that are get more a depressed than when they enter. Are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then, if that's the question, if that really is true, if well, college is this amazing accelerant, then why do so I many people? I wouldn't say it's an accelerant, but if you're looking at a field of science, right? Man. And you want to have accelerate you taken a that communication field of course, or have you not done you that yet? You need a degree. All right, okay, okay, let, let me let me fit, make my point. If that's the case, why do half of these kids end up with anywhere between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and they end up getting a job that says, "Oh, sorry, you never needed the degree in the first place." Why is that the case? Tell me. Uh, people on average, once going to the college, make more money. Hold on, no, that's not true. They end up getting that, a job. That is. In the, that's only if they graduate in the, and it depends on the field of study. Do you know, the, the average college graduate now is, at, is, is getting a job at $61,000 a year. The average plumber after 18 months, $68,000 a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder, plumber $72,000 a year. With peers, the, the, well, the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to trade or technical school. There's 11 million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, 11 who engineered million. the stuff plumbers use? I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the stuff plumbers use? 
I, I'm sure someone here. I mean, that it's it's uh, like someone with a it's degree. It's like saying who designed college. the airplane for the pilot to fly. I mean, someone with a degree that went to college. I, I, Pilots I, I, go I'm to not college. A, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying you get rid of all places of higher learning. The way it's currently comprised for you guys, the amount of debt you have to go into, the classes well, you that say you have to don't take. Don't get rid of places of higher learning. Okay, but then you go on to you're say you're interrupting me every 15 seconds. You're not debating in, in good faith because it is a scam. So let me ask you a question. Can you point to other things of American life the last hundred years that have been scams? For example, when Someone, they run an advertisement they say buy these pills because you know we're gonna make you super muscular and they don't have all the fine print that it might not work and you have to have a monthly subscription we shut down that business for being that's a, a little scam. different though that's a how product. is it different hold on a second when you show up to college did they tell you you have to take all these classes that you didn't sign up for yeah. did they oh they, they, they said that you're gonna have to take all these different classes did they tell you that half of you guys would not ever use your degree when you go into your career how many guys knew that you guys knew that when you signed up yeah. well college you is that. what you well, make you of guys it, right? are, you guys are willingly participating in the scam. Good for you. The point is this, is that most kids know deep down they're getting ripped off. The number one thing I hear from people across the country in corporate America, boy, college is a waste of time. Boy, I wish I never would have gone. Now I have $60,000 of debt, $70,000 in debt. I wanted to start a business, but now I don't have the credit to do it. Instead, we are wasting our most prized possession, our 18 to 22 year olds, to go stick them at many universities when they shouldn't be here in the first place. And it is a failed project. It is making us poor. It is making, and by the way, just, just look at the actual numbers over a period of time. Has it worked? Is homeownership now going up for young college well, graduates? How are we going to blame that on college, though? It's the There's no, a it's lot the, of different it, reasons it is the that most people are not able applicable, to buy homes. It's the most equally applicable thing across the board for a I generation. Say so. And, and it, it, if you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school, by the way? None. None? Okay, wow. Do you, are you on scholarship? or? Yeah. Okay, so who's paying for your college then? Probably the federal government. Okay, so I'm paying for your college, is what you're saying. Uh, My taxes are paying for your college. So wait, do you have a, you're on grant or what? Uh, I'm not going to discuss my college finances. With well, you. no, this is really important. This is why you're so defensive of college. Yeah. This is why you're so forceful because you don't have to walk around the rest of your life with a hundred thousand dollars student I loan debt. I know plenty of people because, that have part-time jobs no, and no, go to this college. Ex this explains you perfectly. I, the taxpayer, when I write my check to the IRS, I'm subsidizing your ability to go to college. Okay. When and I, I think write that's a huge my mistake. check to the IRS, Cause, I cause also give money for people to go to college. You should have skin in the game. You should, and you don't right now. You are doing a freeloading thing. Of course, you should be defensive. I, of I pay taxes. I pay federal taxes. Yeah, I, I pay state taxes. I, I, I'm well, sure I pay a little bit more than you, taxes, but that's a separate but. issue. But the point is this: is that's that probably true. I, do, do you, th you think you pay anywhere close to the tuition value you get at the school? Probably not. Yeah, probably I do. It's like five thousand a semester. It's a lot of money, but you get a lot out of Wait, that. Wait, hold on. How much is it to go to school here? It's around five thousand. So in state. In state, yeah. Okay, five, did that include room and board and tuition? No. Okay, how much does it does that cost? Uh, room, board, tuition, all of it's around 11000 11000 a semester. So you pay $22,000 a year in taxes? Uh, no. Okay, got it. So you're, you're in a tax deficit, which means the U.S. taxpayer is subsidizing your education. That's fine. I'm not faulting you for it, but this is why you're so defensive, is you're detached from the price. You're detached from the cost. It's easy to be defensive of something you're not paying for. So obviously I agree with Charlie here, and I want to talk about some facts. And Patrick Bear David has actually done a few great videos where he breaks down these facts. Inflation from the year 1980 until today has gone up 236%. However, inflation on college costs is up 1200%. Meanwhile, personal income has gone up 220%. And like we said, college costs 1200%. That's a thousand percent more inflation when you compare income with college costs. Furthermore, colleges pay zero in taxes, despite the fact that they've got tens of billions of dollars each in endowments. And they also have zero regulation on how much they can increase their prices. So you can see why they're so expensive, but do you really get your money's worth? I mean, only if you're going to college to do something that you absolutely have to go to college to do. Most people coming out of these colleges will be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, and will go into jobs that only pay 50 or 60K for the first few years. That's if they graduate at all. And Charlie and others often bring up trades like carpentry, welding, plumbing, electrician, and I completely agree. These jobs are fantastic, tremendously productive, and they're just great life skills that you can take with you all around the world. But for young people who don't necessarily have an aptitude for those types of practical jobs, myself being an example, one of the best things that you can possibly do if you're not entirely sure on your direction and if you want to gain some serious life skills instead of going to college 
is go and work in sales. Go and get a telemarketing job where you have to call people and sell them random stuff. You could work in business to business sales. I mean, it would probably help to have some sort of experience in the service industry before then, but still it's doable. I mean, I had heaps of friends who worked in call centers and you may work your way up to eventually going into recruitment or being some sort of a high level sales representative. And it's not a glamorous job when you're first starting, but sales is a job that will translate into so many different aspects of your life. Everything from selling products to selling yourself to potential employees, to telling a story, building relationships, and even talking to beautiful women. I mean, we are always selling something and four years of that grind, as opposed to four years of useless classes and useless protests and eating sushi, will have you miles ahead of your peers. So with that, let's get onto the next one and then we will talk a little bit about entrepreneurship. However, before you get there guys, if you haven't liked this video and if you wanna help me out with my algorithms, if you think this is a good message, make sure to hit that like button and also, hit that big juicy red subscribe button. Let's get into it. What exactly do you mean by college is a scam? Um, good question. I wrote a whole book about it. Uh, largely the value proposition that you are being offered is not worth the time or the money that many of you are forking over. There's exceptions to that generally, but uh, for example, the vast majority of students that graduate from four-year college, uh, they'll end up getting a job if they get a job at all in a, uh, in a career or a job that doesn't require a college degree. So henceforth asking the question, why do they go to college in the first place? Okay, now what do you mean about uh, jobs that don't require a college degree? Like working at Starbucks as a barista. Okay. Uh, so what exactly uh, do you mean by uh, the value proposition not being sufficient for the uh, cost of going to college? Yeah, so I mean going 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars into debt uh, that's a significant thing. And hopefully if you're going to do that, uh, you're going to be able to prove and have some value uh, for that for that reason. So, for example, there was a study that just came out in the last day, the 16 lowest paying job majors. Um, and the vast majority of those are actually what kids study in college, right? Communications, liberal arts, things of that nature. And so the question is, why even go to college at all if you're just basically getting a credential that is worth less and less money in the marketplace. Now, if you study engineering, if you study finance, terrific, but the scam also is just beyond the financial value proposition. It's um, the ideological pollutants that are spread on college campuses and the, uh, let's just say, some of the left-wing indoctrination that occurs here as well. Okay, so moving aside from uh, that red herring there, uh, I point? myself am a uh, communication major and uh, I am very well aware of the uh, communication majors who just take a four-year degree and uh, go into jobs that d either don't require a degree or... Try to get as close to the mic as you oh. can. Is that okay? Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I'm aware of the communication majors who only get a bachelor's degree and if they're lucky, they're only able to get research assistant jobs in communication or not even get a job that requires a uh, degree at all. But would not those who uh, continue on to get masters and doctorates in communication, who get hundreds, uh, who get a $100,000 a year or $200,000 a year uh, research jobs, would that not counteract uh, the total economic, uh, socioeconomic value of those who just go into college and then end up Starbucks baristas? Uh, potentially, yeah, I mean, also master's degrees are expensive, right? PhDs are expensive, so you're looking at least at $150,000 to $200,000 in debt, minimum, uh, if you're gonna do that. And if that's, if that's the path you wanna take, so be it. But there are 11 million job openings in the country right now that pay $80,000 or more that don't require a college degree. 11 million job openings. And I don't think we're always telling our young people, you know, the next generation that these jobs are available to you. It's an, it's an expectation that you go to four-year college. And in fact, you're treated and almost considered to be dumb if you don't go to four-year university. And I think that's a big mistake. And not to mention the vast majority, 41% of kids that enter college do not graduate. There, there's something deeply wrong with the system, so. So from what you're telling me yeah, though. final point. Yeah, from, uh, from what you're telling me though, it sounds more like, uh, the problem lies not in uh, college itself, but rather the individual paths that people choose who look at a situation, make the wrong decisions, don't stay in school as long as they uh, need to in order to get the career that they want. Or they drop out because they don't see the value. 
they drop out because they don't think it's worth their time. And again, half of this audience, after 10 years, if they get a job, they'll end up getting a job that didn't require them going to college in the first place. Half. That sounds like a scam. Why are they here in the first place? Why are they borrowing all this money and spending four years on a university just to go get a job that never would have required them to get the degree or the debt or the four years being spent on campus? Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right. I know that this is not a very substantive point to make, but I just have to say it. Doesn't he remind you of this kid? Apparently you're spinning around and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. that's all you do is get dizzy. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about the internet. This is something that has literally all of the information you could ever want at your disposal. No longer do people need to go to the library to find books and rely on the university curriculum. You can literally have any book you wanted delivered to your door by Amazon within a matter of days. Or you can download any book you'd like on Audible and go and listen to it when you're having your morning walk or when you're in the gym. And online courses in universities are actually now becoming much more competitive with online schools popping up all the time. Just think about it, with modern educational institutions failing in so many different ways, there is a huge gap in the market for entrepreneurs to come in and undercut these monopolies. And what this creates is a market where these entrepreneurs are competing to create the most valuable courses. This means competing for the highest possible qualification with the most value provided and doing it in the shortest amount of time possible. And I mean, obviously you do have to be very careful with online courses because there are many a gold tooth salesman out there. We're here to support you. I want to see you on this jet with us next time. It's awesome. And you can totally do it. You love Join jets us right now. You love jets too. We made it. You Come just on. don't know it. You're giving away your free book. You're just trying to sell me stuff. Of course I am. I have no shame, I have no guilt, I have no hesitation. But there are also some very good ones. Let's discuss what we're doing with Peterson Academy. We thought, what if we could make getting a degree 95% less expensive? Because yeah. that's a pretty funny target. It's like, we're gonna undercut you by 95% and offer a better quality experience along the way. Why wouldn't it be good to provide everybody, at least in principle, with access to the best lecture? I mean, I totally believe that in the modern day, unless you want to be a doctor or an engineer, or something that absolutely requires you to have a degree, then college is essentially useless. And this is something that I find that people above 40 tend to not quite understand. And they tend to push their kids into going to college when it's not necessary because they just don't get how much the digital world has changed the way that we operate. Like this kid, for example, a communication major. What does that even mean? Public relations, advertising, marketing, journalism, you literally do not need a college degree in the modern world for any of those things. I know plenty of people with businesses in those fields and they're not necessarily looking to hire college graduates. They're looking to hire people who show initiative. They want people who are driven, smart, dutiful, and can simply provide value. And another thing they might be looking for is someone who's tech savvy. I mean, what are all the best ways to market these days? YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, email marketing, etc. Think about it like this, and I'm actually somebody who hires people in this field. If there's a 19 year old kid who comes and says to me, Jake, 19, I've just finished high school. I've been practicing video editing for a year. I'm passionate about this. I want to go far. I like your channel. I think that you could probably do with this sort of short content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you five short form videos for free. And if you like what you see, and if you think I can provide value, then you can hire me. I am hiring that kid over the 22 year old with no experience, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But. How do you learn these things? Where do you start without going to college? Well, we mentioned sales, but also create an online product of some sort. Figure out the online algorithms, what works, what doesn't. Watch YouTube videos about people who have done what you want to do. And if you're lucky enough to have a few bucks to scrape together, you can even pay someone to mentor you. And then you apply yourself to learning that new skill. And you know what the cool part about it is? If you do that for a year while you're young and you're broke, you got nothing to lose, you don't mind flavoring your rice or living with your parents and doing some housework or living in a dirty share house whilst you're working a part-time service job or something, then you will learn more life skills in that year than you will learn at college. You also won't be in debt. You'll be extremely hireable. And who knows, maybe you'll even start your own small business where you'll then learn even more invaluable life skills. How to manage your finances, how to navigate taxes, hiring people, leadership, people management, and so much more. And also, it'll put a few hairs on your chest having to fall over and get back up enough times to realize that the world owes you absolutely nothing and that you have to earn absolutely everything. And then you are off to the races and by the time your friends finish their communication degree, they will be well and truly in your rear view. So rant over guys, bit of a different one today. As usual, if you wanna find me below, got any questions for me, you can hit those links if you'd like to subscribe to the channel.
right here. If you'd like to watch another one, right here. Till next time, I'm Jake. This is Rattlesnake TV, keeping you armed and dangerous.